really impacts success when it comes to the embryo transfer? Well, the quality of the embryo, genetic testing trumps morphology. So there's Think about two different factors when it comes to the quality of the embryo. And I always say this, you have to have the genetic normalcy, that's the backbone, the bare minimum. And then we have the metabolic competency, the ability of the embryo to divide, for cells to go to the right place and organs to form, and that's a big ask. This is why even with a perfect genetically normal embryo, we only have a 65% chance of live birth. Like IVF rates are not 100 because this metabolic competency is equally important and we don't have a test for this yet. Well, if we do not have genetics available, then we tend to use morphology, which is the beauty pageant score for embryos. So in morphology, you're looking under the microscope and you're grading the embryo based on how symmetric it is and even the cells or how fragmented it is and how expanded it is and it gets a score. This score is overall correlated with a higher rate of being genetically normal and having success. But if you're doing genetic testing, we pay much less attention to this. Genetic testing is the first tier. I will not hesitate to transfer ugly embryos that are genetically normal.